What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, PTK Blam, your friendly neighborhood gamer pack with another video, man. Dropping these things like hotcakes, everybody. So first off, uh, it is now about 9 o'clock at night. I just got off work today, man. Sorry for not dropping a video yesterday. I figured I would do one today to make sure we keep this thing going, man. Got to keep putting out this content for you guys, man. I got a lot to say about today's video. First things first, though, just want to start off by saying I appreciate the love and support on the podcast. This past Thursday, if you did not catch it, I will put the link in the description. And I'm also going to retweet the link, drop it on Twitter so that whoever didn't get to catch it live can watch it so moving on to today's video guys i want to talk about a couple different things two topics particular first one is going to be black friday black friday is upon us it is that time again guys you know what that means if you're a gamer that means fucking sales 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 cheap games it is time to destroy our backlog okay so the funny thing about black friday is that we know that games are going to be on, there's going to be a ton of games on sale, tons of hardware on sale, there's going to be tons of crazy uh, deals as far as like console bundle deals, all that kind of stuff, guys. But we still go out and we still buy games. I mean, most of our backlogs, if we took a poll right now and we polled 100 gamers on Twitter, most of us are probably less than 60 or 50% from actually their backlog, from actually completing their backlog. Most of them are probably about 50% done. With the majority of the games that they've been playing so black friday is kind of odd because uh, that's really time for you to grab those games that you were on the fence about a lot of people you know um were on the fence about certain games like i said on the podcast mad max is one of those games where i heard good things about it uh deus ex is another game that i heard good things about and i never did get around to picking them up because i was kind of on the fence about it black friday is the time to buy those games because you're going to get them 50 60 70 percent cheaper than you would normally get them so you're going to get games that you know you probably wouldn't even normally be picking up so it's a great time to buy those games so i want to know what games you guys are picking up on black friday i have not seen the list yet i do need to do some digging around i know there have been some posts on twitter about some black friday deals but there have been some false fake information uh people have been putting up like fake ads from different type of uh stores and things like that so i've tried to avoid that until the actual ads come out until xbox has this actual black friday sell up it's not there yet they usually advertise it so once again what are you guys picking up on black friday i know i got a bunch of fucking games right now on my xbox that i am less than 50 percent done with uh this is a couple games that i'm not even close to being done with so don't worry guys i probably won't be buying very many games or maybe two or three games that i may want to pick up so who knows i, I think Mad Max will be one of them, as I stated on the actual show on Thursday. So on to the next thing that I want to talk about today is I want to touch on this. And I'm kind of late on this. And is that EA has gone and reversed their policy and reversed the pay to win things that they were doing or the loot boxes, essentially, that they were doing on Star Wars Battlefront 2. Everybody knows what was going on in the game. They had loot boxes where you could just pay and you automatically get rare weapons legendary characters with all these crazy abilities so it made going into multiplayer unbearable because you know usually there's a grind associated with like living up a character and you know getting certain weapons and things like that there was no grind to it pay ten dollars you automatically the best person in that multiplayer match which is ridiculous it never should be that lopsided so they recently reversed and took the in-game currency out of the game which i think is a huge move because we know ea traditionally has not been that kind of a company. They usually kind of stick with it, even through all of the bad shit. I mean, at one point in time, they were named like the worst, customer, not customer service, but the worst company in America or something like that. It was something along those lines. It was pretty freaking bad. So to see them kind of change their ways and change the policy and switch that around, take the in-game currency out, that way players can actually grind for these things as opposed to just paying for these different things, abilities and weapons and you know, um, you know, all these kinds of different things that are in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So I'm glad that they did that. Now, I didn't really expect them to do that, honestly. But this goes to show you gamers that if something is really bothering you, we have a lot more power than we give ourselves credit for. I mean, if something is really bothering you, show it with your wallet. Show it. Let it be heard. Let it be known. We have all these different social media apps and all these different ways to get directly to developers and publishers so they can hear our voice. That's how you do it. 
You know, don't go out and, you know, call the developers and tweet them saying you're going to hurt them and all this crazy shit about, oh, we'll go drink bleach and all this crazy shit. No, that's not productive. That's crazy. OK. Speak your voice, do a poll, do some kind of a I don't know, do something productive, something that's going to get your voice heard, something that's going to get directly to the developers. You know, something, you know, they caught such a backlash that they had no freaking idea they had no nothing they, they couldn't do anything else but to change the policy so i'm glad that they did that very surprised the ea would go that far to do it i'm glad they did it though so that's really all i wanted to talk about today guys i'm going to catch you guys later it is now after nine i need to get in the house to actually do uh, everything that i have to do i still got to edit a couple videos so i will catch you guys a little bit later once again the shop podcast will be live this thursday at 5 p.m it will be lit and we got a special guest coming on man hey we got a guy that is definitely making his comeback, man. I hope to see you guys there. Please share the link to my channel so you guys can subscribe. That would be awesome. Once again, I am on the grind to get to 1,500 subs, guys. Let's get it. I know we can do it, man. The podcasts are going to get even better as the weeks come. I got a lot of cool shit planned. Uh, me, um, Chuck, and Live are cooking up a couple things, man. I definitely want to start doing this live streaming thing, man. My wife, actually, she she live streams, too, every now and then. So me and her play a lot of different games, uh, mostly PVZ2, which is a great game. Um, but anyway, guys, don't want to talk your ears off. Link, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the section on what I talked about here on the video, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.